Welcome, I'll be reacting to Blake 7, Season 1, Episode 2. If you're wondering where Episode 1 is, go check out the Should I Watch This playlist. This is a commentary. It is not a market substitute. Please support the original. And please, no spoilers in the comments. Remember, a spoiler is anything in the future. Actor appearances, character changes, locations, etc. Oh, Terry Nation. Nice. Goodbye, Earth. Goodbye, Moon. I like the guy in the back who's clearly just so bored. He's just like... When are we getting there? Course is set. We have go confirmation on all systems, sir. Thank you, Mr. Rager. Set hyperdrive speed time to stop. Oh no, it's the to captain too. Five. That's what they said. Yeah, well, that's what they always say. They don't bother. Nobody bothers anymore. I like him a lot. You better identify us to space security. Yes, sir. I feel this. Still studying for your commander's credentials, Haddix? Yes, sir. I don't want to spend the rest of my life in old tubs like. Ooh. I, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I like that they're making the guards so realistic as well. Like we're seeing both perspectives here. There's a female prisoner on our manifest. I'd noticed that, sir. Be discreet. Yes. Wow. Sir. Approximately eight months ship time. Whoa. There's a punishment scale for infractions, which starts with long periods of confinement in your launch seat and ends with the commander's right to order execution. Great. You have no rights whatsoever. None. Okay, I'm really worried about her now. Questions? <laughs> okay, Doc. <laughs> there are other rules, but you'll find out what they are when you break them. Oh, That's lovely. All. So what I heard is we have eight months to take over the ship. Got it. As far as I'm concerned, you're just another piece of cargo. Remember that and you might just survive the journey. Do you understand? I understand. Sir. Sir. Mm -hmm. Come with me. Oh, no. Here goes. I might be able to arrange something more comfortable. That's very considerate of you. Well, the good thing is he didn't just order her. I guess because the commander said be discreet. All authorized personnel have their palm prints filed in the computer. The blue sensor plate reads the print. If it conforms, the computer opens the door. Okay, we need to recruit him. What went wrong? I relied on other people. Why all the questions, <laughs> or is it merely a thirst for knowledge? Oh, I like him. Whole lot should have been scrapped ages ago. Could you pilot her? I expect so. Why? Yes. But once we've taken the ship, we'll need a pilot. All right, it's called Blake's Seven. I'm going to surmise that means seven people. We definitely have three or four so far. Also, there was that young guy, I didn't catch his name, but he's studying to become a commander. He seems nicer than the rest of them. Could they recruit him? That'd be what, five? I suppose it could be some sort of meteorite collision. Those are not meteorites. Oh no, the coffee! Full emergency, all crew to operational stations. All crew to operational stations. Like, what are you up to? Now is not a good time to be in the Jeffrey's tubes. <laughs> Destruction. Something's going down. I'm offering you the chance of freedom. Generous, considering mine will be the most important job. Indeed. All sections report damage. All sections report damage. Now is the time to do it when everyone is very distracted. If the outer hull gets punctured, this stuff floods into the section and blocks it up. It, it goes solid in seconds. Uh, then why are you still holding it? Get it off your hands. Of course, we've had punctures to the outer hull. Can he still get through here? Is there someone in there? You would think they would have someone stationed there. Yeah. He's not a man of action. He's more cerebral. I think he's comfortable jumping out on someone. Well, let me do it. I haven't done anything yet. All right, let's get him in there. 
Yeah, except we haven't heard much from him. He seems like a red shirt. We have that cord right there to... I feel like this kid is not gonna make it. Mm-hmm. Oh no, he's going to get trapped in there. What a way to go. <laughs> oh no, you didn't finish the job! I told you you should have used that cord to... Oh no, the computer! Don't damage the computer! Okay, can we be more thorough this time? Nope, he's going back to the computer. Learned nothing. <sighs> nice job. Stay right there, and we'll kill him. Drop your guns. <laughs> I want a free hand to take whatever action I think necessary. Do I have your permission, sir? All right. Oh, no. Come on. They're finally using the cord. What do you think they'll do? At least you're still alive. No, not until free men can think and speak. Wealth is the only reality. And the only way to obtain wealth is to take it away from somebody else. Wake up, Blake. You may not be tranquilized any longer, but you're still dreaming. That is a really good scene. Blake has gone through so much trauma and he wants the Federation to be a better place. More like the actual Federation. And yet the programmer chap is right. The reality is the world just runs on money. It's all about who has the most money. So we have the realist here with the idealist clashing. There's something I wanted to see. You're going to start executing people. Ah! Ah! I'm going to kill one of your friends every 30 seconds starting now. No. Open the door. He's not going to stop. Right. Put them in close confinement. I'm surprised they didn't just execute him right there. She and I have some unfinished business. Oh no. Or did you think I'd forgotten? Mr. Raker, have you gone completely mad? Put it with the others. Thank goodness for the commander there. Your troops bumble around looking for someone to surrender to, and when they've succeeded, you follow suit. <laughs> I love him. We've got the scan back. Right, get me a picture. You know how much that ship would be worth in prize money if we could get her to a Federation planet? Millions of credits, millions. I think their greed is about to be their undoing. Weapons are only to be used as defense, understood? Sir. All right, here you go. Not sure these two are the best for the whole not using your weapons thing, considering their past behavior. I like the idea of this transfer tube thing. No response circuit two. No response circuit three. Well, I mean, it's an alien ship. No. It might not have a response. It's opening. Oh, got lucky. And they're about to lose communication. Report, Wallace. Where the hell's that backup man? Right, get him equipped and bring him down here. Of course, if they can get past whatever that is, they'll have an entire new ship to themselves. All right, here's the second person. Looks like the bridge. There's the whispering, I bet. Is it reading their minds? Their memories? What would it see in Blake? He's had them erased so many times. Those tapes are forgeries. Get back. I think Blake is immune, kind of, because 
He's had his memories messed with, so he's less susceptible. Took an image out of your mind, a memory, and then projected it back at you as though it were real. But why didn't it affect you? It did. But somehow I knew it wasn't real. Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to make sure they don't get any ideas about staying over there. Breaker. I think they already yes. have that idea. But could you pilot her? She's like, I gotta, I could try. <laughs> I still think the ship is the one that opened the hatch, not them. In which case, the ship has to close it. How? Oh. Ah, couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But what about everyone else they left behind? Follow the London to Cygnus Alpha. Then we can free the rest of the prisoners. Yeah. With a ship like this and a full crew, then we can start fighting. Like, around. say, seven people? So far, I really like the pacing in this show. It's definitely moving the story along at a fairly rapid pace, but it's not so fast that you're just like, what is going on? It's very orderly and yet exciting, if that makes any sense. Bear with me as I'm trying to figure out character names. I think the computer guy is Avon. I really liked his character. He reminds me a little bit of Humphrey Bogart in Casablanca, where he's just so done with everything because he's seen way too much tragedy. And at this point, he's just putting the facade out there of, I don't care about anyone. They just let you down. I'm only here for the money. And yet deep down, you can tell in like his expression and his eyes that it's all an act. He actually cares deeply, and the reason he has this projected protection is because of that. And I have a feeling if Blake and Jenna are around him enough that eventually that facade is going to start chipping away. So he was a great addition. And then Artrix or Ada something, I'm not sure, but the young officer who was studying to be a commander and seemed like a genuinely nice guy who was just kind of stuck in the middle of this. I really hope we'll get to see him again and he'll eventually join up with Blake. Jenna was awesome as well. She really stood up for herself and yet you could see how scared she was. And I love the fact that she's the pilot. I think my favorite part though was when Blake just completely lost it and gave that amazing speech about freedom and how important that is and how much he had taken away from him by the Federation. You could feel his heart just poured into that. It was amazing. I loved it. This show feels a little bit more like a stage play rather than a TV show, and I'm here for it. And of course, the story is great. I knew from the moment I saw episode one, this was going to be an amazing show, and it has not disappointed yet. 